class with no hand fatigue and still make good quality sound. So, in my opinion, <laughs> this speed is achievable by three things. First is absence of stiffness and any uh, like unhealthy tension in your wrist and arms. Second is lightness of your touch, this Ligiero that is written in the score. And uh, third is distributing energy, uh, the weight, while playing. So let's go to number one. Well, in the piano system, we usually follow uh, with our wrist the pattern of the melody. So that means that if any notes, like here, note higher, then the wrist will move to the right, note lower, the wrist will move to the left. So uh, let me tell you guys that when I play it slow, I make like this wrist. Now, if you noticed in my performance, you cannot see I'm making any movements, it's because all the movements, when you speed up, remains just in the muscles of your hand, just over there. But that's enough, guys, to overcome stiffness in the wrist. Because if you play slow, with no movement, let's say, in a common way, like this, like every one of us would play, right? then after like a couple of bars, even in slow tempo, you would already feel tension. So how on earth are you going to speed up? <laughs> and um, the same thing is about left hand, like everything. Basically, everything. So another thing that helps us to overcome any unhealthy tension in arms is elbow. So make sure that in every passages, elbow always prepare a new position. Like for example here, we have this... Um, Ascending passage. I look quite fancy today. <laughs> so, we have this passage, right? And our wrist would go to the right, so the angle of the wrist is gonna be always like this because every note is higher than previous. So, if we're not moving our elbow, then we might end up uh, doing something like this where our wrist is ahead of our elbow and so the tension will be uh, accum accumulated in this area because this is unhealthy angle of our arm. So make sure that in any changes of position or passages, you ever always move your arm. And so how do we achieve this? We find um, the notes when we move elbow. So for example here, I would move on every first note of the set of four. Like here I would move elbow, here. And this, if I play without album, I can tell you guys by the end, because this is already the end of the piece, and my, my hand would be already like... <laughs> so, <laughs> if I'm not releasing any tension, then I would get stiffness. So, what I would do here, I would move over here to the right, and then here to the left, and here again to the right. And this little right, left, right, this little movement, would be enough to release this unnecessary tension in my hands. And of course, again, if you notice in my performance, when I played in the fast tempo, this elbow movement is just like this. It's basically like one, one centimeter to the right, one centimeter to the left, in the muscles. Every movement will be in the muscles, in the memories of my muscles. So it's gonna look right, 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 left. And no problem. <laughs> Um, yum, 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 what else? Yeah, well, basically that's it. So, from the piano system, wrist movement and elbow movement helps a lot to release any tension that might be accumulated in your arms while playing in the very, very, very fast tempos. So, the second thing uh, is about how to achieve lightness in your touch. And it's obvious that if you play too heavy, then it's much uh, harder to achieve speed in your playing. So, uh, the lightness of your touch must be achieved by your imagination. You cannot just say, okay, I'm gonna touch keyboard lighter. You will, lose, you, you will still not be able to control the touch because it's not about lightness, it's also about the quality. So we want that every note would basically sound in the pianissimo. So when you imagine every single note, 
in the violins with movement that the same movement that we use in our wrist or with the same movement to make in our imagination and we connect not with glissando just like we do in piano system so then we achieve uh, the control of playing every second note even at fast tempos guys i still don't know how to explain this but it's basically as soon as you get it the time is just a matter of how fast you play but you're still able to imagine every single note somehow and when let's say you imagine it in pianissimo then you're gonna um, you're gonna feel in a very special way on your fingertip this special way this touch will give you the lightness of the sound <laughs> And so another thing is uh, phrasing that helps, like I said, it's kind of connected to the stage three, um, how to distribute energy while playing, but it also helps to achieve the slightness of, of, of the touch. Uh, because we, if we play without phrasing, we would play either uh, with constant inhale, like, like this, like without weight, like uh, always, keep, always keep the weight inside, or like with constant uh, exhale, if we try to play with full amount of weight, and... and both are wrong because both will lead to the heaviness and stiffness. It's like uh, easy to imagine. It's like when you always inhale or you always exhale. So uh, to be able to make those energetical like breathing crescendos and diminuendos, we need phrasing. So we need to know where we're going. And uh, the beauty of this is that uh, when you exhale on the main part, whether it's the main interval in the motif, or the main motif in the phrase, or the main phrase in the sentence, then after this exhale, the next motif or interval of, or phrase that goes less important, you play on inhale and it goes automatically. And this is where you get the lightness of your uh, touch, so you play with no effort. And let me just show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> so the first motif, less. And the same, like, in the rest. And now just look at the principle. If, if I do less, no effort already. You know, one of my teachers used to tell me, like, basically used to answer my question and I would say, my head gets teeth, what should I do? And she'll be like, well, just find some places where you can relax your head. Uh, and she'll just like go to the piano and play for half an hour and me just watching you, watching her just like, okay, <laughs> but still how should I do this? Because I cannot relax my hands. So those less important motives when you like exhale a little bit. This is the part where you naturally relax your hands. And those waves will give you this natural breath of music. So here is where I relax my hands. This is a more, more, this I can relax. This is a more, more, this is relax. So my muscles would literally breathe. And we know when where is a breath, there is no death, <laughs> and there is no death, there is no stiffness. So when we breathe, we laugh. So our muscles always would remain health attention. I think I'm talking too much, okay? So when we start breathing in a larger scale, uh, looking at the piece from a bigger perspective, then uh, it tremendously helps our technique. Because now we basically... Uh, and another two bars, which are less important, just again goes go automatically with completely relaxed hands. But our fingers would just move effortlessly. So two bars you basically play with more effort, two bars with less effort. Two bars with more effort, two bars with less effort. <laughs> and uh, another thing is that when we understand where we are in the sense of musical form, it also helps to distribute energy because, as we know from the system, uh, if we talk about form, there is beginning of the story, development, right? the climax, climax, conclusion. So every of this form, if you can feel it emotionally, you can also understand that they are different by the um, by how much intensive we feel energy in it. So beginning is not like, it's okay, it's simple, right? And for example, rising to climax, we would feel like more complicated, like we would like 
Christ energetical Christian, I don't know how to explain, the climax went super intensive, right? So it helps also to distribute energy on a, on a completely huge scale from big perspective. And um, again, it simply helps us to, to, to achieve speed in our hands and not get fatigued. Because if we bring right away everything to the beginning, then uh, there is no space, there is no room for development. Uh, of music. <laughs> so if you see, if you start playing piano, if you start playing this piece, and you can see like, okay, so um, these are, you know, like a satellite, very far away from the earth, <laughs> and you can see all the streets. So, uh, and you can see like, okay, there are going to be two parts, and uh, it's going to be like beginning, right, so climax in one part, and the same pattern in the next part. And then you start playing, and the way you intonate your intentions will be um, conveyed through your intonations, through our singing as we know, and uh, this is how we would control the energy while playing.